Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the On Fire B2B podcast, a podcast where we take business owners and CEOs in the B2B space. Six questions, nine minutes, because the best know when to be concise and when to end. And let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what do you do? Hi, Bob. I'm Christine Miller, owner of Miller Sales Consulting. And I work with medium um, or small size business startups and non-traditional sales businesses and help them grow their client base and revenue through sales coaching and training. Um, personally, I love sales and great salespeople. I'm kind of a sales nerd. I could talk about it all day. And I'm kind of on a mission to change how people think about sales and selling. Like you don't have to be that stereotypical um, sales guy in order to succeed. And it's not a dirty word. And if you feel sleazy or uncomfortable selling, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, totally agree with you on that part there. Question number two, what is the best thing about working with businesses? Uh, I love the people and their stories. I love learning about their problems. I, lear I love helping them solve their problems um, and watching them actually learning to love sales in the sales process. And it's really cool that I can work with people all over the country using Zoom. <clears throat> it also makes me happy to see people I've worked with or trained uh, move on in their career and flourish. And, you know, not only do I like to see their success, but it feels good to know that I helped launch some skilled professionals into the sales world because we need more of them. Absolutely. Question number three. I'm hearing from other top executives that testimonials and reviews are becoming more critical now, especially video ones. What are your thoughts? Um, I do believe that they are critical and important. Um, I tell people that my videos are like my, my free sample. If I made chocolate, I might give you a sample of my chocolate to get to know me. Um, and I think a video testimonial or videos in general can be your free sample to mm -hmm. people for them to get to know you and your style and what you're about and your personality. So I think absolutely, it's absolutely. Question number four, what advice you share of other companies working in the B2B industry? Go. Yeah. So uh, be, essential, be an essential vendor to your clients. And we've been talking a lot about essential workers and essential businesses uh, during this pandemic. And I think what B2B companies need to pay attention to is, are they an essential vendor to their clients? Um, in many cases, there's people sitting around a table or sitting around a Zoom meeting and deciding what is going to get cut in their budget because they need to cut back. If you're not that essential vendor or partner, you may be the one on the chopping block. So um, if it's okay with you, I wanna talk about some things you can do to be that essential uh, vendor to your clients. That is the goal because we like how-tos, we don't like platitudes on this podcast, so go yeah. for it. Yeah, so this is, this is your how-to. First, hopefully you sold them on the value and demonstrated how your product or service solved the problem for them. And they see that value and you've been demonstrating it. Now, if you didn't start the sale that way, if you were a person that just sold basically on price or um, fire sales, you need to turn that around like pronto and make sure you start selling that way. So the first thing is you've got to sell on value, demonstrate how you solve a problem. Now, once you do that, you're not done once the ink is dry. Um, mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of people are right now. You need to make sure you continue to sell back the value uh, all through the process, the length of the contract. Remind them how working with you is valuable to their company. And you might do it by reporting or white papers or a surprise and delight, um, checking in regularly, like genuinely checking in regularly. Uh, continue to add value and sell back. Uh, the value of their commitment to you. Never let them doubt why they decided to work with you. Um, be human and stay connected. That is so key right now to have that human peace and keep that going and stay connected to them on many levels, uh, not just about sales. Ask what they need and then really listen. It's not like, hey, what do you need? And then just kind of dial out and then just start spewing whatever stuff you want to talk about. Right. Find out what they really need. I mean, people have a lot of challenges going on right now. They may be working from home. They may have kids under their feet. Um, you know, they may have someone that's sick in their family. There's so many crazy things going on right now. So you really need to ask what they need and listen. Um, under promise and over deliver is a, is a phrase that I live by. Uh, you always want to over deliver. And especially now when things are crazy, and then my next one is to be honest, right? So these kind of go hand in hand. If you know that you're experiencing shipping delays um, and you think you can ship it out in one day, 
say you can ship it out in two. If you ship it out in one day, you're a hero. If you ship right. it out in two, you know, you look like you didn't keep your promise. So under promise and over deliver will help you make those customers happy and, uh, and be honest about what's going on. People are pretty forgiving when you're honest with them. Absolutely. Um, yeah, continue to solve problems, even if it has nothing to do with the sale. If you can help them on any other front, um, you know, if you had some childcare ideas or projects that you did at home, I mean, there's a million different things that you can do as a human to help them solve problems um, that have nothing to do with the sale, to be that friend uh, during this time. That's key. And proactive with communication. Things change day to day. You know, what I say today may be different tomorrow. And just so keep being proactive with the communication so you keep um, that relationship strong through all of this. And when, so when they're sitting down and that company's saying, we can't afford to do all of this, what goes? There's no doubt that you are the person or the company that does not go. That you Love say. all those tips. And we now have three minutes and nine seconds left. So we got to keep going there, but that was awesome. Let's all get right. to question number five. What other top CEOs and business owners in the B2B industry, like yourself, would you like to acknowledge as a leader and should be a guest on my podcast? Yep. So I have two, Matt Miller, and he's the owner of Upleft, and Tiffany Salzman. She's the owner of Candor Concepts. What I really love about both of these people is that they run their business with people in mind, uh, meaning that they are human and treat their customers and clients as humans, not just as a revenue stream. Mm -hmm. And Upleft uh, offers a financial planning, but it has a little twist on it. You know, they take into account spiritual, social, intellectual conditions. So it's run different than your typical cookie counter fashion. Um, and Tiffany at Candor Concepts uh, does business and marketing consulting. And she really cares about what works for you, not what the flavor of the week is, and really helps you focus on running your company, not the company running you. Perfect. Perfect. I'll look them all up here. We got two minutes and 10 seconds left. I want to make sure you have some promo time. Question number six. Hey, Christy, tell me about your first time, your first sale. <laughs> yeah, it was a long time ago, um, but you always remember your first time, right? I, do. Uh, I was working at a radio station. I was a salesperson at a radio station. No formal training. Good old days of just go out and get them, tiger. Um, I was uh, nervous. I had a binder probably uh, this thick with every piece of paper that the company uh, could print out as a sales, you know, piece of sales material. And I had a Christmas package um, that I was going out to sell and stopped by a Christmas tree, Christmas uh, florist kind of store, um, was prepared to go through every sheet of paper I had in my binder, brought up the Christmas package. Uh, the owner like that said, yes, I was so like, surprised and excited. I drove all the way back to the station <laughs> to put in my order where, you know, the sales manager was like, that's awesome, but you got to stay out there and, you know, like keep selling and not come back to the station. Love um, it. Love it there. Okay. So I, Christine, you only have one minute and two seconds left. Let's get you some promo time in. Go for it. Yeah. Um, so you heard about me in the beginning. Uh, one other thing I would just mention is I do Monday sales motivation videos on YouTube. I share them every Monday on LinkedIn. Um, so if you want some tips or motivation, uh, check that out. I think you might like them. That's it in a nutshell. You pulled it off. Six questions, nine minutes, because the best know when to be concise and when to end. Website, say it. MillerSalesConsulting.com. In the description, it's magic. Christine, <laughs> thank you so much for being on Tip of the Hat to you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And for everyone else watching or listening, make sure you check out more episodes of the On Fire B2B podcast. I am Bob Clark. Y'all have a wonderful day now. Talk to you later. Bye.